Hello friends, I want to welcome you to day number 6 of our 10 days fasting and prayer. Today we are talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You see, it is always a joy to receive a gift, especially from a loved one. But you know, the Bible also makes us understand that the Holy Spirit of God does not just convict us. He does not just give us power to be faithful children of God, but He also gives us gifts for us to be able to do the work of God here on earth. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, reading from verses 4 to verse 7, the Bible says, There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of them all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does the work in all of us. A spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. You see, my dear friends, the gifts of the Spirit are special abilities provided by the Holy Spirit of God to Christians for the purpose of building up the body of Christ. The list of the spiritual gifts as found in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 includes wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, miracles, prophecy, the sending of spirit, speaking in tongues, and the interpretation of tongues. In her book entitled Gospel Worker, page 96 and 97, Ellen G. White said this, It is the accompaniment of the Holy Spirit of God that prepares workers, both men and women, to become pastors to the flock of God. Those who have faith in this divine attendance, that is the Holy Spirit, will develop. They will be gifted with power to clothe the message of truth with a sacred beauty. You see, my dear friends, God in His own divine mercy has given us spiritual gifts for many purposes. But ultimately, all these gifts have been provided to equip us to glorify God. You see, my dear friends, the gifts of the Spirit are simply God enabling believers to do what He has called them to do. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, the Bible says, His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him who has called us by His own glory and goodness. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are part of the everything we need in this test to fulfill our purposes for our lives. Without the gift of the Spirit, we will not function well as God's people. Each believer, including you, listen to me, has been given a special gift. So today, prayerfully ask God to help you identify your spiritual gift in order for you to function 100% in God's vineyard. My dear friend, today pray and ask the Lord to use you in His service. Ask Him to fill you with His Holy Spirit. Today, my dear friend, let your prayer be like this. Dear God, I want to make a difference in this world. I am not content to just sit in church. Give me your spirit power through the gift you choose for me so I can defeat the power of sin in my life. Today, as you go about with your life, whatever that you do, remember that God has called you for a special purpose. And because of his calling on your life, he has given you a special gift through the Holy Spirit. You have one. It doesn't belong to any special people. You have been given a gift. So every three hours of today, as you ask God to forgive you of your sins, as you bring your personal request to Him, remember to pray for God to reveal your gifts so that you can begin to operate in His vineyard. Without the gift of the Spirit, you cannot live that Christian life. Without the gift of the Spirit, you cannot do the work for which God has called you to do. So today, spend every three hours, few minutes in prayer. Ask God to help you live your life according to the gifts that He has ordained for you. And all things will be well for you. May God bless you and may He grant you the best of everything in this day, even as you seek His face in prayer. Have a wonderful day. Shalom.